In this video, I would like to deal with a very simple and an effective method to handle with a repeatability in a drawing. If you analyze an engineering drawing, you can find repetitive use of certain objects called symbols. For example, this civil drawing consists of the symbol of the bed repetitively used at several locations. You can see three copies of the same bed and another two copies over here. And when you analyze this elevation, you can find the repetitive use of this window. So how will you deal with this repeatability? For example, once I make the drawing of this bed, I can reuse this bed any number of times in all my future drawings. So how would I do it? Just open a new file and you create the drawing of this bed using the standard drawing and editing commands. Before saving this file, you have to re-specify the base point of this drawing. So how will you change the base point of an existing drawing? You can do that with the help of the base command. So I'll type base. Now I am asked to specify the base point. I'll choose this midpoint as the base point. If you do not specify any base point, AutoCAD assumes the origin as the base point of a drawing. Now I am going to save this file on the desktop. So I'll click on save as and I'll put it in the desktop. I'll give it a name, save bed. Okay, I'll save it. Now I have created a file with the name bed on my desktop. Once you save this, this can be inserted to any drawing any number of times. Let's see how to do it. This is a floor plan and onto this floor plan, I would like to insert the symbol of the bed. So I'll give insert command. I'll type the letter I and this area is empty and I'll go to browse option and I'll select the drawing file of the bed which is kept on the desktop and I'll just give open and I'll give OK. Now you can see the preview of that drawing here and you can see that the base point which you have specified previously will act as an insertion point which will let you locate this drawing precisely against any wall surface. I want to insert this bed against this wall so I should change my orientation. So I'll go to rotate option, I'll type the letter R and I'll give a rotation angle of 90 degree. So I'll type 90. Now I have inserted it here against this wall. Now I want to perform one more insertion of the same bed on this room. So I'll give insert again. Now I don't have to go to the brass option because the bed is available as a block definition in this drawing. Please refer my exclusive video on blocks to get an in-depth understanding on what block definitions are. Anyway, I have a definition here with the name bed now. So I'll just give OK to insert it. Now again, you have to change the orientation because that has to be inserted against this wall. So I'll go to rotate and I'll give a angle of minus 90. Now I'll insert it here. This object which you have created using the insert command is called a block reference. You can create any number of references or copies either by using the insert command or you can copy a reference which is created using the insert command. I would like to have one more insertion of the same reference on this room. This time I am not going to create that reference using insert command but I am going to make use of copy command. So I'll copy this existing reference to create another reference over here. So I'll give copy and I'll select this object. I'll select this as a base point and this as a second point. So I have created another reference over here. Likewise, you can create any number of references. Now let's study the speciality of these objects. References are single objects. That means if you click anywhere on the reference, you can select the entire object. Another speciality is, if you change one reference, that change will get reflected on the rest of the references. Let's see how to do that. Just give the command refedit to edit the references. So I'll type refedit. Then you select the reference to be edited. So you'll get the reference edit dialog. Just give OK. So it will show you only that particular reference and rest of the references will get hidden and you will also get a reference edit toolbar. Now let's change the color of this bedsheet. So I'll select the entire object using a window. 
and I'll change the color to say magenta. So I'll click on the magenta shade and uh, after you incorporate the changes, you can just click on this button. It is called save reference edit button. Just click on that and I'll just give OK. So you will see the changes getting reflected on the rest of the references. This is a very powerful feature using which you can incorporate any last minute changes on a single reference to see it getting reflected on the rest of the references. So you should always make use of such symbols to handle with repeatability in a drawing. So how will you make a symbol and use it? Just open a drawing file, create the object that is to be repeatedly used, specify the base point precisely using the base command, insert that drawing using the browse option of the insert command in any other drawing. You can have as many insertions as you want. Each insertion will act as a reference. You can use ref edit command to incorporate any changes on a single reference to see it getting reflected on rest of the references. Hope you will make the best use of this technique in AutoCAD. Thank you very much.